No, a non-miraculous Christian is a contradiction in terms. It's a contradiction in terms. You cannot have a non-miraculous Christian. A Christian is a miraculous being. You know, when you were born again, or whatever is your language, you were supernaturalized. Yeah. Whatever you are doing, but it is faith that releases the power. Amen. It's faith. And you know, faith is not something I just get by kind of being a Christian. You know, I have to pray for it. I have to ask God to increase my faith. I have to be honest about it. How many of you believe that miracles are, are happening in the church today. Put your yeah. hands straight up. Yeah. Keep your hand up. How many of you are regularly performing miracles? Keep your hands up. <laughs> now, did you see the difference there? Yeah. You all had your hands up at the beginning and then most of your hands went down. Yeah. The problem is, you know, we've been praying for things like this. Go on, go on, I believe you can do miracles, I do. You see, we have confused what I call creedal faith, belief, that something is true with the charism of faith, which is the power to make it happen. Yeah. Okay, and we thought that because we had creedal faith, we had the charism of faith. Mm. And that's why we prayed for loads and loads of people and no one got better. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. There is a need for an examination of conscience for us to realize that we need to cry out. James says, you don't have because you don't ask. How often do you ask for the gift of faith? I pray regularly, Lord, give me faith to heal the blind, faith to heal the deaf, faith to raise up the paralytics, faith to, to curse cancers. Give me faith that people will be converted as I speak. I pray for that. And then I say, Lord, forgive me for my unbelief when the blind weren't healed, when the people weren't converted. You know, I humble myself. Paul had two realities going on in him. You know, I am the worst of sinners, but I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And we've got to live in that, it's not attention, in that complementarity. You know, God loves the humble. Do you know what Paul means? It means small. Small. So he changed his name from Saul, which was this great magnificent warrior, to Paul. Small. To small. And we've got to change our names, you know, to Paul. We have to know that, you know, I am nothing except in Christ. 